Good morning, dear students. Welcome. Welcome for the online teaching program organized by Gokhale Education Society. And I am Bhushan Sudhakar Patil, P.S. Patil, teacher in HL High School English Medium, Ozer Township. Dear students, as we all know that because of the spread of coronavirus, that is COVID-19, we cannot go to the school and take our education. And that's why our society has decided to provide education to the students through online education program. And now I'm as a social studies teacher, I shall teach you history, civics, and geography for standard six. Today we are going to study geography. Lesson number two, let us use the graticule. In the previous lesson we have studied what is graticule. Now we have to study how to use the graticule. The very important and first point is the location and the extent. While describing the location of a place, only one parallel and one meridian is considered. While describing the extent of a region, two parallels and two meridians at the extreme ends of the region are considered. While describing the extent of linear features like river, road, etc., the latitudes and longitudes of their terminal points are considered. Very simple and very important. First point what we have seen that while describing the location of a particular place only one parallel and one meridian is considered but when we are talking about a region then two parallels and two meridians are used but if suppose we are talking about a river or a road that is something that is linear having linear features like rivers and roads the latitudes and longitudes of their terminal points are considered. Important parallels and meridians. Dear students, in your textbook, you can see figure number 2.4. With the help of this figure, we are going to see this point. In this figure, you can see the graticule and certain lines on the world map these are some important parallels and meridians let's see one by one a very important parallel the first one is tropic of cancer The parallel at 23 degrees 30 minutes north of equator is called the Tropic of Cancer. You can see here in this figure, this is equator, zero parallel. And to the north of the equator, 23 degrees 30 minutes north, this is Tropic of Cancer. The second one is Tropic of Capricorn. The parallel at 23 degrees 30 minutes south of the equator. This line is called Tropic of Capricorn. Third one is Arctic Circle. The parallel at 66 degrees 30 minutes north 66 degrees 30 minutes north is called arctic circle the antarctic circle 66 degrees 30 minutes south this is called antarctic circle north pole 90 degrees north of the equator is 
north pole this point and last one is the south pole the parallel at 90 degrees south is called south pole you can see here 90 degrees south this point is called south pole you all should learn this by heart because there might be a question in your exam or in your future life you, you, you would be asked that what is Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle, Antarctic Circle, North Point, South Point and very important is Equator. So you should learn this by heart and you should remember forever. Not only for standard 6 but forever it will be useful to you. The third point in this lesson that is the temperature zones and pressure belts. Due to the duration and intensity of sunlight, different temperature zones are formed on the earth. Temperature zones give rise to pressure belts. So here, here you can see area of perpendicular rays. In this particular area, the sunlight that is temperature is more intensity of sunlight is more here area of slanting rays in this part and in this part the rays are slanting that's why temperature is a bit less than this zone that's why it is different and here in arctic zones and antarctic zone the area of very slanting rays that's why intensity of sunlight is very low so this forms temperate zones and pressure belts next very important point is diversity in plant and animal life as we all know as there is difference in temperature in these all areas then definitely there will be a diversity in animal life and plant life variation in the intensity of sunlight that is temperature temp temperature zones leads to regional diversity in plant and animal life so in this reason different animals and plants are found here different animals plants trees are found and here they are different now we have studied about the parallels now study let's study about the meridians very important and first one is greenwich meridian the zero longitude or prime meridian helps to fix the global standard time and coordinate the standard times of different countries this zero longitude it passes from the Greenwich that's why it is also known as Greenwich Meridian the Meridian is also known as Greenwich Meridian this zero longitude the international date line we all know the exact opposite of zero, zero longitude is 180 longitude the international date line is marked with the reference to 180 meridian this is international date line great circles the equator as well as all pairs of opposite meridians form great circles on the earth if we think about the parallels only the equator and the opposite of zero equator this forms the great circle and all the meridians all meridians zero meridian to 180 meridian means this is zero and 180 this forms great circle in the same way one degrees 90 degrees 70 degrees 100 degrees all meridians form the great circle and zero parallel forms the great circle 
zero latitude that is equator great circles are used to or are used for finding the minimum distance between any two places on the surface of the earth it is very important dear friends these great circles are useful for finding the minimum distance on any two places on the surface of the earth if if you are going to find distance of some particular country for example india so these great circles are very useful because the these are considered for finding the distance now we have studied the lesson or topic and you have to review it at least one or two times and you have to read the text also so that you can get what you have missed and of course you have to answer the questions given in the exercise so dear students i hope you have understood everything what i taught you so stay home stay safe